This video shows how to use the MCG Manager program to load songs into external devices such as USB flash drive, USB hard drive or SD card. The songs are loaded in the MP3 MCG file format for use with a CAVS 205G USB player. Go to CAVSUSA.com slash MCG Manager and download the MCG Manager program which is a freeware. Install and start the program. the program will automatically upgrade to the latest version. Our source of song files is an external hard drive that can be commonly found on online with many songs. The hard drive usually has 100,000 to 300,000 songs of mp3g or zip files. We call this hard drive an online hard drive. Connect the online hard drive to a PC. It appears as H drive in our video. Inside it has many folders. 81 to be exact and inside the folders there are many subfolders and sub subfolders and etc the external device which we are making for the 205g player is formatted fat 32 so it has maximum limit of around 75000 files per folder which means around 37,000 songs per folder as each song consists of a pair of files the mp3 audio and mcg graphic files Note that the mp3g song files or the zip files that we start with will be converted to mp3 and mcg files by the mcg manager program. So putting all the songs from the online hard drive into a single folders of mp3 mcg files is not possible. We therefore divide the number of folders in the online hard drive into 10 groups taking 8 folders at a time. Each group of 8 folders should then give us around 10,000 to 30,000 songs which is within the limit. We copy the first 8 folders out of the 81 folders from the online hard drive into a new folder named karaoke song number 01 in the E drive of our PC. Next, open the MCG Manager. Click on the subfolder checkbox at the top left. Click on the source and select the karaoke songs number 01 folder. Wait a few seconds and all the files from the folders and subfolders will appear on the left side. Adjust the window for better viewing. You can adjust the left-right windows as well as the width of each field. Next, click on the field type to sort the song files by the file type. Delete the file types that are not of songs such as PCI, TXT, JPEG, or INI. Mark the files using click and shift click. Then right-click and select delete. Here, we delete file types other than the compressed zip and MP3G. Next, click on the field file name to sort the files by file name. We next fill in the titles and artist names of the song files in the source window. Some of the song files have ID tag information, which the MCG Manager program can pick up using the load ID tag button. However, song files from an online hard drive are usually without the ID tag information. The title and artist name are instead written on the file name. The way the file name includes the title and artist name, however, is not unique. For example, some songs have artist name followed by a dash and followed by title. Some songs have album number followed by artist name and title with dashes in between. Some songs have album number followed by track number followed by artist name and title with dashes in between. 
though there are several different variations and some even using different separator such as underscore instead of dash. Click on the first song file and look for the song files that share the same way of listing the title and artist name. Note that for the first song, the first part of the file name is the artist name, followed by dash, and the second part of the file name is the title. Mark all the song files that share this way of listing using the click and shift click. Next, right click and select file naming. Clear the existing order and select artist followed by title. Click OK. Note that the first part of the file name is assigned to the artist name. The second part is assigned to the title. Note that the artist name has the track numbers in front, which is not part of the artist name. We double click on each of the artist name fields to manually fix by removing the numbers. Editing each field manually by double clicking is always available and is our last resort. Click on the next song file. In this song file, the first part is the album number, the second part is the track number, third is the artist name, fourth is the title, all separated by dashes. Mark the songs sharing this way of listing by click and shift click. Next, right click and select file naming. This time select skip, skip, artist and title. Press OK. You will see that the first part is skipped, the second part is skipped, the third part is assigned to the artist name, the fourth part is assigned to the title. We continue down the song files assigning the title and artist name fields. We are done with filling in the titles and artist names. We can double check our work by sorting the song list by title. There are some songs at the top without titles. This means that we made mistakes somewhere in the list. Again, we mark the songs without the title and do the file naming to assign the title and artist name correctly. When marking the songs, use the control click to add or unmark a song. Next, sort the song list by artist name. Again, if we made mistakes, the songs without artist names will show at the top. Mark the songs and assign the title and artist names correctly using the file naming. Click on the target on the right side to select the folder to load the mp3 and mcg song files. We should select the folder inside an external device. Here, however, we select the new folder mcg number 01 in the E drive. Note that mcg number 01 folder in the E drive is not in an external device and is not formatted FAT32. This folder is only used to hold the mp3 mcg files temporarily. When all done, we will copy this temporary folder to an external device and save it for use with a 205G player. We use the temporary folder mcg number 01 in E drive because working with a folder inside the PC is a lot faster than working with a folder inside an external device. This is especially true when working with many song files. When done with files encoding, click on Save. The MP3 and MCG files will be saved sequentially. Note that a warning message appears at the end of Save. It is to remind you that the target folder is not formatted FAT32, and when the folder is copied to an external device with FAT32 format, you must perform the save to save the file sequentially again. Click OK and OK to close the messages. We are done with saving and there are 7,872 songs in the folder MCG number 01. Close the MCG Manager program. 
Next, we begin the same steps as before for the next set of eight folders from the online hard drive. This time, we copy the eight folders of the online hard drive to the karaoke songs number 02 folder in the E drive. And we follow the same steps to make the encoded files in the MCG number 02 folder. Due to the limited time in this video, we fast forward to having made the MCG number 02, MCG number 03, and MCG number 04 folders. Note that during encoding you may run into an error message such as shown on the screen. This error message appears when a zip file or an mp3g file from the online hard drive cannot be opened. This happens when the file is damaged or corrupt. Click OK and close the message. Next, locate the file that has caused the problem in the source window. It will be the first file with a check mark. Uncheck the file to remove it from the encoding process. Click on the encode button below to continue the encoding for the remaining files that are still checked. Fast forwarding, we have four MCG folders with the encoded MP3 and MCG files. The online hard drive is removed. Although the online hard drive had more song files, the four MCG folders are enough for our video instruction. Next, we copy these four folders to an external USB flash drive. Insert the USB flash drive. It shows as an F drive. For the properties, the USB flash drive is shown to have FAT32 format. Copy the four folders to the USB flash drive. Fast forwarding, the copying is complete. Open the MCG Manager program. Select the target to be the MCG number 01 folder. The encoded MP3 and MCG files inside the MCG number 01 folder will appear. Click Save to save the file sequentially. Click OK when done. Note that the warning message of non-FAT32 format does not appear this time. We repeat this process for all MCG folders. Next, to make the song list, open the Excel program. Go to the MCG number 01 folder. Select the option All Files to see the text file inside the folder. Select the juke.txt file. The text import wizard will open. Confirm the option Delimited and click on Next. As the delimiter, input the pipe sign, which is the shift backward slash in the keyboard. Click Next. Click Text to be the format of the index column. Click Finish. Note that the juke.txt file is imported with separate columns for index, title, and artist name. Adjust the column widths and alignments. Next, make the columns of 01 dash to mark the MCG number 01 folder in which we are making the song list. Place this column in the first position using the cut and insert cut cells. Save the file as text file juke2.txt. You'll be asked, do you want to keep the worksheet da da da? Click yes. Close the Excel file. You'll be asked, do you want to save the changes? Click no. Close the Excel program. Next, go inside the MCG number 01 folder. You'll see the juke2.txt file which we just saved. Open the file in Notepad. First, use the replace function to remove the quote signs that are placed automatically by the Excel program. Next, merge the two columns, one with a 01 dash header and one with the index number, into one column using the replace function. Close the replace function by clicking on cancel. Save the juke2.txt file and close. Next, open the Excel program and import the juke2.txt file which we just saved. Using the text import wizard, again use the pipe sign as the delimiter to import the file. Three separate columns will show the new index, title, and artist names. Adjust the column width and alignment. Save the file as an Excel file. This is the printable song list for the MCG number 01 folder.
Fast forwarding, we now have the four song lists and we wish to combine them into one song list. This is done simply by merging the four song lists into one by copy and paste. We open each of the four song lists. First, we copy the number two song list into number one. Then number three song list to number one. Lastly, number four song list into number one. We next sort the combined list by title for the song list sorted by title. Make a copy into a new tab, sort the list by artist name to make a song list sorted by artist. Finally, save the song list in Excel format as master playlist. This list can be used for printing paper songbooks or used in tablet as an e-songbook. Next, we insert the USB flash drive into the CAVS 205G USB player. Press mode and select F drive. Select the MCG folder, for example, MCG number 04, and select screen appears. Input a song number and play. From the master playlist, select a song. Input the first two digits of its index number and press menu. For example, press 01 or 1 and press menu. The MCG folder will change to MCG number 01. Next, press the following index number and press play. The song will start playing. Say we have a song number 02-03504 in the master playlist. Press 2 and press menu. The MCG folder will change to MCG number 02. Press 3504 and press play. This song 03504 will play. From the master playlist, you can play any song by selecting an MCG folder followed by a song number. Each song will play instantly. You can also press the song list button inside any MCG folder. The song list will appear for each folder. You can search for a song by title or artist name. Press the song list button again to exit out to the select screen. This ends our video instruction on how to use the MCG Manager program to load songs into an external device.